What's new in Cisco APIC? Here are just some of the new features. Enhance Capacity Dashboard allows you to configure your scale profile directly. Under the Operations tab, select Capacity Dashboard. Here on the right, you'll see the Fabric Capacity tab, which shows everything at a fabric level, and the Leaf Capacity tab, which can show scalability options for each piece of hardware. Another new feature is Fabric Membership Simplification. Under the Fabric tab, select Inventory and then Fabric Membership. Here we've simplified the main window as well as the side navigation. Here you can see that everything under the registered nodes shows what's up, running, and correctly configured. For leaves and virtual leaves, you can see what's decommissioned, active, inactive, etc. Nodes pending registration shows the nodes that are connected and discovered but haven't been registered. As soon as you plug them in, they will show up here and you can right click and register. Then it will move from this tab to this tab. Here you will also find things that you've pre-provisioned, things that you've configured but haven't discovered yet. Unreachable nodes are nodes that have been discovered but are not currently accessible. APIC firmware upgrade improvements have been implemented. Here we have a summary view where you see a summary of the nodes by firmware version. You can have different firmware versions on different nodes. This shows how many virtual nodes you have with their versions, controller firmware versions, and controller storage. Under the image tab, you can simply add firmware to APIC. You can add from either a local image location or a remote image location where you have the option to select an existing download or create a new one. There is no concept of download task or upload image. Here you will find only images that are ready to use or are in the process of downloading. And to apply it, just go up here to Infrastructure, Controllers, Schedule Controller Upgrade, and select your target. For nodes, all you have to do is give this upgrade a name. Select your target and select the nodes either by a range or manually, which allows you to filter your selection. The Active Users Activity feature allows you to look in on the activity of your active users over the past one day to two weeks. Another helpful feature is new dashboard widgets. On the Fabric tab, you'll see that the physical interface now shows port speed. Also now, for every component at the pod level, you can see the top health, CPU memory, and temperature information. At the LEAF level, you can see the overall hardware usage information, as well as port speed information. Here you can see that there are 48 ports, but only 6 are active. These are just some of the new features in Cisco APIC.